Hey guys, welcome to Muddy Beards 4x4. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to repair, properly repair, a burnt up wiring harness connector. This particular harness connector is off of my 98 Subaru Forester. This is actually an H4 headlight. It's got three prongs. It's the same headlight that's in my Jeep, that's in my 92 Dodge. Same as in the Cherokee, pretty much any 90s vehicle has this exact same wiring harness. So I had, I was going to work the other day and I noticed my, I thought my headlight was out. Uh, when I got to work, I just looked at it, it was so dim, it was just barely on, just a little bit. So I looked at it and the wiring harness was completely burnt up. So when I got home, I took a closer look and what actually happened was, is one of these tabs on the headlight was loose causing a poor connection and high resistance which creates heat in this connector and it just melted it and at that point it pretty much ceased to work properly so I went on Amazon and you can buy these pretty much anywhere so these are high temperature headlight lamp socket replacements twelve dollars for a pair of two of them on Amazon so I went ahead and ordered these so today I'm going to show you how I soldered these on and to replace uh, this headlight socket. You're going to need a uh, soldering iron and some solder, your uh, wire cutters, some wire strippers, you use your heat shrink and something to uh, melt the heat shrink over your wiring and I like to use wire loom to make everything look nice and professional. So let's go out onto the uh, onto my car and we'll start soldering. So I just looked, took my harness part, my new harness part real quick, double checked to make sure what colors go with which, wrote it down on a piece of paper so I don't have to remember it because I probably will forget. And then I can put this uh, cover back on here. I kind of made this makeshift little uh, soldering table. I had a piece of metal that I set on here that I'm going to be able to solder on and I took my harness and I taped it to here so it'll just kind of stay in place. The wires are actually meshed together right now just sitting there which is the way I want it. That way I can get my soldering iron on it and get my rosin core solder and get it nice and hot and it'll melt in there. Make sure before you start you put on your heat shrink because if you start and uh, don't put your heat shrink on, you're kind of screwed because you won't be able to put it on afterwards. <laughs> don't ask me how I know because I've done it before. So basically I'm just going to take my soldering iron and just set it on my wires because in order for in order for the solder to soak into the wires, the wires actually have to be hot, hot enough to melt the solder. So otherwise it'll just sit on top of it. So the heat shrink, I'm using a butane torch, just got to be super careful because it gets really, really hot and you can burn the wires. Okay, so there you go, you got yourself a new connector, ready to go, plug into the headlight or whatever application uh, you're using this for. I replaced the headlights, both of them, while I was in here. Smart thing to do. On my uh, Project Krusty Beard and my Dodge Cummins, the headlight switch, the connector on the back of that is actually burnt up. But I didn't realize that when I replaced the switch. Um, so I was able to make it work for now, but I will be also doing that on my truck. So if you guys learn anything from this video or any of the other ones that we make here on Muddy Beards, make sure you tell your friends, 
give us a like, comment down below, and make sure you subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, also we got Instagram. Check us out on Instagram. Go follow us there and Facebook. And we'll see you later.